Good morning. Welcome back to Pennsylvania. This is gonna be the one where we talk about all the numbers and statistics of the lash. I started the lash on April 30th, a day ahead of schedule. And I hiked from Dix Creek Gap in Georgia to Irwin, Tennessee, a total of 275 and a half miles over 29 days. I had a total of 67,329 feet of elevation gain and 68,265 feet of elevation loss. I popped my tent up eight nights, whether that was on the trail or in somebody's yard at a hostel. I stayed in shelters for 11 nights. I stayed in hostels or motels for 14 nights. I fell on my face one time and I fell on my butt five times. I saw two bears, three snakes, four or five deer, a boatload of uh, snails, and a shipping container's worth of caterpillars and worms. I met five through hikers and or backpackers that I have followed on social media. I met Aquaman who did a winter southbound through hike. I met him on my birthday. I met Chica and Sunset when I stayed at their hostel. They through hiked the trail in 2017, I think. I met Black Bear who has through hiked the trail twice and I have seen her in multiple YouTube videos, including a documentary called Walking Home. And I met Intrepidan, who attempted a through hike a few years ago and is now, I think, section hiking the trail whenever he can. I was hoping that I would only spend about a thousand dollars for a month on the trail, but I spent twice as much money than I thought or wanted to. Some of it was inevitable and some of it was completely unnecessary. I spent $567 on lodging, which I could easily cut in half with better planning next time. I could probably even spend less than half. I spent $662 on travel to and from the trail. I don't know how I could decrease that cost other than uh, looking for better deals, but I mean, travel is travel, and right now everything is crazy expensive. I spent $273 on food and resupply, which for one person, I think is actually excellent and probably the best I could do. I could probably do a little bit better by giving up town food, but who wants to do that? You gotta have town food. I spent $260 at Outfitters. And this is definitely 
definitely one of the things that I could have done without. The money I spent at Outfitters was because of, somewhat because of poor planning. I, sh uh, I bought a t-shirt and shorts extra because I should have had an extra t-shirt and shorts. I bought two different pots to replace the pot that I was carrying, which was completely unnecessary. Um, I had to replace my camp towel because I uh, lost it to the laundry in Fontana, which was careless. And what else did I buy? That might have been it. Yeah, 260 bucks. That was completely unnecessary. And then I created a miscellaneous spending category, which added up to $107. Um, one expense was my Garmin bill, which is in my monthly budget at home, but I sent a bunch of text messages to my people when I was in a section that had no cell service. So it basically doubled my Garmin bill. And then the other miscellaneous thing was I had to buy I had to purchase new glasses to replace uh, the ones that I broke when I fell on my face. So they were miscellaneous, unexpected, and necessary. When I started the lash, I weighed 144 pounds, which is the heaviest I've been in a bunch of years. I typically run between 135 and 140. When I finished the trail and got on a scale at work in New Jersey yesterday, I weighed 139 pounds, which is pretty good. I have definitely slimmed down and my legs are stronger than they have been in many, many years. Um, so yeah, that's about what I expected. Right, okay. That is the summary of the statistics that I can think of for the lash between Dix Creek Gap and Irwin, Tennessee. If you can think of any others, or if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and we'll talk. That's gonna do it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos, looking at things in closer detail, like the gear that worked and didn't, the hostels that were great and were not so great the food situation and probably more but for now that'll do it see you next time